The time has come. Welcome back. We're going to be uh, releasing our first free commander. We get one free release a day, and hopefully it's a good commander we can actually put into our lineup because we got some magazines we want to spread around just so we can farm more arcs and more tiles more effectively. And because energy doesn't re uh, recover very fast, so the more commanders you have, the more energy you have. Uh, we'd like to get a couple commanders up to a few hundred, but first we need a couple of good ones. And even if it's not a good one, if I plan on spending money, I probably won't pump magazines into a bad one. If I do plan on spending money, I'll probably just do a free releases and get a couple of the good commanders, the guaranteed hit skill commanders. So uh, let's go ahead and do our first release. We're looking for Nekajiro. That would be a good one. Or Vega if we can get a B commander. Cohen, actually a B commander, not bad. He's got a heal. Uh, it's an elf style heal. Elf's a late game commander. And he's got a 20% guaranteed hit, uh, hit skill, and he's airships. So I am probably going to rely on this and take Cohen up as my main for now. I did this on Sky Kingdoms. I had a similar Lucian main. Uh, but he's got a 20% guaranteed hit skill. Very nice. Doesn't scale that well. It scales like a Chief's guaranteed hit skill. And then a 40% uh, recovered dead units, which is nice. Uh, but uh, I don't know. This is this is uh, Vega's heal, not Elf's heal, so it's not quite as good. Um, but hey, recovering troops lost is really useful uh, with Tier 7 when you have higher leadership. But like I said, with the Meta Crystals and the Time and Space War, healing troops isn't that big of a deal because you can kind of do it for free now as opposed to uh, when the game originally came out. So we have Cohen. Let's go ahead and pump some magazines into Cohen. We're going to probably use Cohen for some time. And I'm going to go ahead and leave him at 146. So this is our new main commander. Let's go ahead and put... Uh, do we have any airship weapons? We don't. Do we have... Well, we're still going to be using walker and infantry troops just because we it's it's super early game. We're going to be doing that. Uh, we got some more free stuff for co recent, releasing commanders. So there's an event going on as we're doing this video. So actually, I think this is all new games. Yeah, all new accounts on new servers have this. So... Uh, you get benefits for doing these events in the game. <clears throat> you know, it's probably going to change by the time you're watching this. But just go ahead and click on the event tab up top and see if there's anything you should be striving for. Now, I understand. Arc of War is a huge game. That's why we play it. It's We've never seen anything like this. A never-ending, potential pay-to-win, brutal cell phone game um, where in the split second you can lose your entire army. It's a, it's a wild game. Absolutely wild. And uh, hopefully, you know, we uh, this game keeps developing and becomes, you know, kind of a new genre all of its own. And this is still kind of the ground floor of it. Even though this game's been out for a few years, it's still very much new and changing all the time and adapting to what modern cell phone games should be like. Anyway, we're a Cohen main. We do want Tier 2 still, but right now we're just going to go ahead and build some Tier 1 airships just so we have something to carry around with us. So... Uh, let's talk about commanders, leadership, and how they carry troops, okay? So, early on, I told you that an infantry ranger tier 1 is 1 unit. See up there? Units 1. The other stats, you can kind of ignore. I mean, later game theorycraft stuff, you might want to get, want to get into it. Uh, realistically, for now, just focus on this unit stat. Unit 1. Tier 1 ranger, that's a baseline. It's 1 unit. Tier 1 airship... 10 units. They're 10 times bigger. So if you have 100 leadership, you can carry 100 rangers per slot. Okay, you have six slots in an army, 600 troops. If you're running tier one airships and you have 100 leadership, instead of carrying 100, you carry 10 because they're worth 10 each. It still adds up to 100, but that's how the game does it. Okay, so let's go into explore and show you what that looks like. Now, this Cohen has 146 leadership. So if I auto deploy, I can have, well, this isn't a good example because it auto-loads the Tier 3 because it's better. It, it prioritizes better troops. But you'll notice in, uh, so this is the numbering, right? So this is slot 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6 in the back row. Uh, it's over here, the back row. This is the order of operations. Notice the arrow going that way, right? That means when I launch this troop out, this slot 1 up here, they're going to go first, second, third. That's the order of operations of attack. That's kind of how the game does the combat. Um, and I can have up to 14 of my seagulls, my tier one airships here, because I have 146. I can't have 15 because I don't have 150 leadership. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that out and I'll show you that order of operations. Uh, let's go to 114, do some exploring. We still need gear, we still need magazines, we still need to be doing some exploring, but soon we're gonna wanna start hitting ships. Uh, but we still have so many resources, we don't have to. They're not forcing us to. So now my slot two goes, my heal goes off. There's nothing to heal because I haven't lost any troops yet. Uh, I do need to level that skill up. I will do that soon. 
Uh, let's see if I can get my guaranteed hit skill. There's the mini nuke. That's the guaranteed hit. This will hit. I will get a heal off. There we go. So 363 damage. Very nice. And uh, then it just goes back around. Once the whole thing goes, then you go again. Simple enough, right? Okay. All right, let's go back. Look at our skills here. We still need to do 115. There's just a lot going on. And if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video in the playlist, you can just put it on loop and just keep going through these videos. I know I talk fast. I try to talk fast to keep the videos short, but also I do throw out a lot of knowledge, so it's hard to digest it all if you're playing at the same time. So if you got this on a computer or a TV in a cell phone game, feel free to put the video on, on repeat and it'll just keep playing the playlist. Uh, I did another series called The Melt University and I did something like that, but it was much higher level arc stuff. You'll probably get into that eventually. That stuff is, uh, like I said, higher level, but it's still relevant to this day. So you'll still find use for it. Still a lot of good knowledge there. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, check it out. We do a lot of different videos. It's not all high level stuff. Uh, we've got a news video, replay of the week, a meme, a meme show on Friday. And we even do live streams when the playoffs are going around. It's quite a bit of fun around here. Online gaming communities are weird, man. Welcome to Arc of War.